Arr! Ahoy, you landlubbers! Grab up your pistol and keep your powder dry, for there be more than Lego pirates on these here seas. Aye, be true, me matey. There be other brands of pirates as well. Arr! This here be the Zix TV that you're watching, and I be Captain the Zix. Arr! This here enlightened set be having 366 pieces. Arr! A fair chunk of pirate loot for the modest price of 36 pieces of eight. Uh, dollars, arr. Dollars, arr. All right, we got a pirate set here by Enlighten. Another one that I bought on Amazon and it was shipped over via e-packet from China. With 366 pieces. Pirates. Corsair series. Rob Barrick. Whatever that means. Alright, we got our you know, castle here and the pirates are mixing it up with the, the guards, I guess. Um... This set is a piece of work, and we get this this ladder, and we can. Which way does it go? Put it like that, and we get this little boat. Uh, one thing I'm go I'm going to do this a bit differently than I normally do. I'm going to show the minifigures first because this band of scurvy dogs you just gotta see this so let's have a look at our minifigures Arr, don't scare me like that Arr. what is up with this guy oh my look at him that's a single color no it's, it's two colors it's black and white print on his face oh my this guy's something else. Okay. Here's this guy. And they're like regular Lego minifigures. They are exactly, I think, if I can, maybe not. They're pretty much like regular Lego minifigures. I get other brands, I want to see something different. Now I can't get his his feet back in there. Get on there. There's that guy. He's a pirate. Ah. Here's a here's a guard soldier. Oh, he looks like he's struggling to drop a big load. shiny cutlasses and stuff. What is this guy's deal? What? You gotta be kidding me. Uh. And I had one minifigure who's missing an arm. This happy guy. Is he a pirate or is he a... I think it's I think it's blue blue pirates versus red red coats. And he was missing an arm. Okay. And we got this guy. What is his deal? Look at that big mouth on this guy. He's winking at you like, uh, yeah, like he knows something. And finally, we have this this soldier, this guard, 
Well, he looks like like a normal Lego minifigure. He looks kind of normal, if you ask me. Looks out of out of place amongst this bunch. And we get this guy. Ah, pirate captain, me mateys. Yeah, they took took a pirate captain from Lego, reused him. I mean, it pretty much looks like it to me. And he's got the dynamite, shiny cutlass. Again, let me show you what his mates are like. So we get uh, two, three, four, five, five weird guys and two normal Lego bootlegged minifigures. These two guys. This is the ugliest band of scurvy dogs I have ever seen. Wow. Some of them look like they actually have scurvy. And then we get two normal looking Lego minifigures. Okay, let's set our minifigures aside and have a look at the Rob Barrack. Are they robbing the barracks? Why is it called Rob Barrack? Is it Rob's Barrack? Rob Barrack. Okay. Uh, first we got this little... little rowboat with all these uh, silver things. And this is actually a uh, little shooter for these silver darts you put one in there put one in there let go so there's that little device and we get a map And a pirate flag be made. Here's our ladder. And we get a cannon. It's just like the, the Lego cannons that shoot the uh, tube projectiles. We get one over here. Oh, we also get a monkey in this set. Exactly like a Lego monkey. I get these uh, these other brands because I want to see something different, not um, not the uh, I guess you would say it's a bootleg, ripped off directly from. Uh, I don't want to see a direct rip off. I want to see something new and different. And we get this tree over here. In fact, let's take that off. That's just going to get in the way. And here is our barracks. Um, castle. Whatever. We got these large uh, pieces here with a print on them. We got the large uh, rock pieces going into the side of the castle there. Sticking out the front with some foliage on them and some uh, torches. Got some rocks, one of these shrubs up front. A deck with all these printed pieces 
Which way does that go? I don't know which way it goes now. I'll just put it like that. A winch on top. I'll show that later. And here is the back. With some pirate loot. Pirate treasure. Let's have a quick look at that. Here's our pirate treasure. We get a decent number of coins. And some little circle things as jewels. To, to fill out the treasure chest. That's pretty cool. And they're shiny. Like the pirate swords. So we're looking at the back of the castle. We got these doors in the back. We got a barred window there and they didn't finish designing the, the wall there. We got section that's part of a wall. And we get lots of these castle pieces. That uh, These big castle pieces that build the uh, part with the crenellations here that, that builds up the uh, builds on an angle going around we got two of those placed next to each other to form our tower here there's the big doors you can open those up here's our winch we got a barrel. And, and we have a prison cell in there. Let's see if I can get the door open. It won't open all the way. Okay, take this off. Another pirate cannon, just like the Lego ones. Okay. And we have a little mechanism in there that is supposed to break the side wall out. Um, got a little opening in the back there. What could we use? Maybe one of these. That's not going to do anything. Okay, um, not sure what this is about. It's it's one of those, uh, it's a spring thingy. And out comes the wall. Oop, now it went up. I'm not sure how this is supposed to work. You put it you put it down there like that and then I guess you you push a tile in or something from the back and it's supposed to flip it up and push out your wall I am not impressed do like this section here. This is a wider door than normal. 
so you got plenty of room to uh, place your minifigure in there I got plenty of room to fit him in there that I like but we got this tiled section in the front there so we have to stand them back pretty far a lot of these uh, let's close this back up a lot of these pieces are damaged we got some we got this this part here that's part of it that's uh, worn off we got one of the uh, crenellation parts it's it's got some stress damage there what else what else did I notice quite a bit these these big parts were uh, some of them were in less than proper condition and there's a, a fire in there and I'm gonna take a brief look up here there's the flag at the top okay. it's built on these these brick base plates not sure why that is we get a lot of big pieces these these big wall pieces with the uh, with the print on them we get these big uh, crenellation pieces these pieces up front that are old mega, mega blocks parts remade in an in a different type of plastic this is pretty similar to Lego with the uh, ABS style quality I would say overall um, the the design I think is 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 kind of lacking um, it was very difficult to assemble we had I had uh, this section over here, this section over here, and you you don't really connect them all together until until we get up up here, and they get connected, and we got the part in the middle. It was it was kind of frustrating to to assemble until we get up here and lock everything down, and then it's okay. So that is a look at our castle. We got this, these parts precariously sticking out in the back. Yep, parts in there. Empty sections. Looks pretty cool from the front but when you get to the back it looks less less impressive and on the instructions they show you that you can build different things with it Lego classic Lego style there's a different castle and there's a different castle So that is my review of this set by Enlighten. I am enlightened. We get the minifigures that are ripped off from regular Lego minifigures. This is why I like um, block tech and stuff like that because they do attempt to make their own minifigure design and it is different from 
the standard Lego minifigure like this guy here and uh, they give him a, just a really weird print on the face nice tricorn there that's probably a Lego 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 piece um, we, we get these these weird mini well weird faces on normal Lego minifigure style stuff we get the the normal Lego minifigure style treasure normal style and a lot of uh, we got the the Lego rock pieces um, so I was pretty disappointed overall uh, uh, in the the design and the quality of this set it's uh, I think it's 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 lacking um, I want to see something different so I am enlightened and this is is the the worst band of scurvy dogs I have ever seen Ugh. can't get much worse than that so that is my review that is my review mimates of this here enlightened set pirates are Corsair series Rob Barrick Arr. thank you for watching Arr.